you've got <clears throat> excuse me you've got someone's full attention you've got someone's full attention and now they want to help you you've got their full attention and now they want to help you it's for you to decide what you want isn't this amazing isn't this awesome so many times we cry unto the lord and we say god you you, you try to get his attention remember the man in the bible blind but but he Marius? when he heard jesus was passing he started screaming, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. And the people told him to sit quiet. They tried to shun him. They tried to hush him because he was becoming a nuisance. And by mercy, Jesus heard. He got Jesus' attention. But something remarkable happened. When Jesus turns and looks at him, it was obvious he was blind. But Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Thank God, blind Bartimaeus knew exactly what he wanted Jesus to do for him. He said, That I might regain my sight. You see, so many of us, we cry out to Jesus. We cry out to Jesus, but when we have his full attention, we do not know what exactly to ask. You start babbling. You start saying everything and saying nothing at the end of the day. You've got to be concise and precise. You are going to ask, why did Jesus ask um, blind Bartimaeus, who was obviously blind, what do you want? Because it is not every blind person who, who wants to regain their sight. There are some blind persons who are just asking for arms. There are blind persons who want to get married. There are blind persons who are looking for, I mean, financial breakthrough and everything. So Jesus needs you to tell him exactly what you want him to do for you. We see that in the, the, the story of the man that was at the gate of beautiful. At the hour of prayer, Peter and John, they went up to the, to the temple to pray and they met this man and he was, asking them for, he was asking them for arms. Peter and John, they could heal him. He was at the gate of beautiful in front of the temple, but he was believing God for arms instead of healing. So Jesus will always ask, whenever you get Jesus' attention, there is a point you pray, there is a point you give, and you get Jesus' attention and he asks you, what do you want? Solomon gave a thousand burnt offerings. And when he had a dream at night, God asked him, what do you want? And he was precise enough to say, I need wisdom to rule your people. Whenever you get God's assignment or whenever you get God's attention, you have to be concise and precise. It's not a time for you to do um, wishful thinking or wishy-washy. No, you have to tell him exactly what you want because that is what you are going to get. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.